Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Pisces friends and friends of Pisces. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I am Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So every message here is timeless, you guys. Please know that you're right on time. You found this at the time you needed. If anything does draw you in, I encourage you to take a look. There is a message in there for you to see or hear. So Pisces, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, I did get a symbol, a glyph that came through. And this is easily the most uh, complex that I've received so far. So I'm going to show this to you here. Feel free to pause the video to draw it out for yourself and utilize it as you see fit. So this was given to me and it was called Sentinel, the Sentinel, Guide and Guardian. So the Sentinel here, the Guide and the Guardian, the instructions for this, which I found weird, to be honest with you. And I went back and um, so this was actually, um, this was a message I pulled for you guys before I had to take a break here in um, saying goodbye to Hermes. So thank you guys so, so much for your patience as well. <clears throat> I was going to just start everything over and Spirit told me that there was already a message that was given here that I needed to go back in and, and uh, readdress or address. So the instruction for this was to place this in your broom closet. <laughs> um, if you don't have a broom closet next to your broom or your vacuum. So I sat down in meditation today and coming back to this and I said, really? <laughs> Are you sure? And they said, we have already given you instruction. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's explore this a little bit further. So guide and guardian. Um, it was this, uh, well, and it was also given the message of let it be. So in placing this glyph to leave it, um, I very much get the feeling that this is sort of like, it kind of reminds me of some sort of, um, like etheric robot almost, to be honest with you, like a protective mechanism as you are cleaning or going through your process of cleaning your home this also comes and cleans or guards some energy for you as well. Okay, so let's investigate this. I'm very curious uh, to take a look at your energy a bit further here, Pisces. So I'm going to start here with the Fortuna deck. I'm going to get started shuffling. For Pisces, please, Spirit, what messages do we have? And I do want to give a shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so, so much for your support and uh for me personally and for supporting the channel i truly appreciate it and i couldn't do without you guys thank you as well to my viewers i am um, i truly appreciate your support as well thank you guys for being here and it's really good to be back um i missed you guys i definitely needed some time off like i said but i did miss you and i have personal readings available if you're interested in that you can check out my website here in the description of the video if you are interested, King of Talismans here at the split. So um, <clears throat> leading in wealth is what comes to mind. Leading through wealth. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We'll take a look at that a little bit further. And stay tuned if you want to the end of the video here for some information on how to win a free reading. All right, team. I feel like this is going to be kind of a interesting, etheric, deep... I don't know. It's an interesting energy, you guys. Like I said, I was going to just start over, but Spirit said, uh-uh, <laughs> we've already given you a message. So Prince of Talismans here. The Prince of Talismans is the um, Knight of Pentacles in the standard most other decks here. So this is your hopes, hopes and dreams. There is a note of expansion of seeing, wanting to see a plan through. Hoping that you made the right plan, you made the right choice, wrote out the correct steps. I feel like you do the tricky part with the, or you did, the uh, tricky part with the Knight of Pentacles here is, is seeing it through, is um, understanding that this is going to take some time, whatever this is that we're getting into. So just adjust my decks here. Which one do you want to use, Spirit? This may hurt for your other... Other deck here for Pisces, please. What do we have going on? And this is a general message, everybody. So please keep that in mind. If the message is resonating with you, please let it resonate. If it's not, it's okay to leave it behind as well. The star here at the split. Again, something like that you've been working towards. You made a plan for um, your hopes and dreams. 
making a wish here, wanting to see that come true. I feel like there's really kind of a, well, there's an anxiety over like, did I make the right choice here? Maybe you started a business. Um, maybe you decided to end something so that you could start something new. There's just some anxiety over um, where this is heading. Okay, let's take a look at that. Check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart. You are a complex story and you are more than your sun sign. And I encourage you guys to take a look. If you are interested in becoming a channel member as well, you can check that out. There's a join button right next to the subscribe button underneath this video and also on my main page. Okay. Okie doke. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Speaking of abundance here, um, so being in your fear, aversion, anxiety, queen of pentacles, I feel like kind of back back to this idea of like what it is that you're building, whatever, whatever plan and, and the sentinel here, I feel like there is, this energy is coming through to help protect what it is that you are building. It's this component of fertility, like an expand, expansive quality to what it is that you have decided to do. You're starting to feel nervous about, did I make the right choice? And I feel like you have made the right choice. There's just this, there's always this period of time in manifestation, like a butterfly a, in a chrysalis before it becomes a butterfly, it's turns into this ooey gooey mess, right? And I feel like that's kind of, where you are right now and being in that place, it's terrifying because you don't know what your shape is. <laughs> totally understandable. Um, so general energy here to start, you guys have Princess of Candles. Ooh, I love this deck. Princess of Candles. So this is um, Page of Wands. There is back to wherever, whatever it is that you have started here. I feel like change of career, starting a business is definitely coming through. Um, making plans, your five-year plan comes to mind, your 10-year plan, interesting. Uh, deciding to make a switch though in your journey. The Page of Wands, Princess of Candles here, is this exciting impulse to get started. This is my put me in coach card. Put me in. Um, could be a little bit wet behind the ears here, greenhorn. Not the best at uh, fulfilling the path, like uh, following it through is what I'm trying to say here. So kind of back to whatever whatever it is you guys are building, whatever it is you've made a change and moving towards, this is reminding you of that excited animated impulse that you had to get started. With the Knight of Pentacles coming through there, um, there is a need to stay on course to see this through. You're being reminded that you need to Kick it into second gear. Okay. <laughs> you need to work your way up the gear system in order to maintain momentum. Mm -hmm. Burning. Oh, interesting. Okay. Burning yourself out. If you stay in first gear here, <laughs> as you enter the freeway, you're going to blow your transmission. Okay. <laughs> so there's a need. And I mean, second gear too. There's a need to, um, to work your way up the gear system is what's coming through. And I am I'm brought back to this to the sentinel as well. I feel like the sentinel is coming to the broom closet. There's an encouragement. It's a little bit separate. I'm I know it'll connect here, but um, there is an encouragement to make sure that your broom closet is clean. <laughs> and not all of us have a broom closet. I understand. Like my I mean my broom is not next to in a closet. I don't have that closet. But uh, where you keep those items of cleaning. Okay. Okay. So the hermit comes in here next. And excuse me, I am, if I, I am dealing with allergies and found out I had asthma. So that's been fun. <laughs> it's been so much fun. <laughs> um, I was noticing I was breathing heavier and heavier on these videos too. And I just, uh, my blood oxygen has been dropping super low at night. But anyway, enough about me. It's been a fun journey, you guys. Having so much fun this spring. The hermit here, um, Back to what I'm getting is to remember why you started back to this animating impulse here too. the hermit is about going within and finding this guiding light. And I love this. Actually, I don't know if you if the camera will um, focus there, but that star that's in the lantern there is the same star that's <laughs> in the guide uh, guide and guardian here. And this is what the star it is the star is doing in this lantern, it is guiding 
the hermit here. The hermit realizes, though, that this light comes from within. Interesting. Okay. I'm, I have been curious to get to the bottom of this message. And to be honest with you, I forgot after everything that had happened with Hermes um, that this symbol came through. So I'm glad, like I said, I was going to start over. Spirit's like, get, get on over there. There's something that came through. So um, can we get some additional advice here as far as guidance for, for um, Pisces, Piscean friend? This is the 8-bit tarot here. Well, not, <laughs> duh. The Princess of Candles here, too, is a lantern as well. <laughs> That's a lot of lanterns, you guys. Um, I feel like there is this need to come out of the darkness. Like, you may have forgotten why you came into this room, is what I'm hearing. Um, the Dreamland here at the bottom. Yeah, need to step back into reality. You may, you may be lost here in a dreamy state, have forgotten why you're doing something. So King of Cups and Nine of Pentacles come through here. Um, as additional advice, I remember, or I remember, what I'm feeling, what I see is, why did I say that? Remember, well, remember why you're doing this. Nine of Pentacles, this feeling of um, calm, like clear thought, to get back to that place of remembering why you decided to start doing something. You may be feeling discouraged right now. Maybe you did start a business, um, started an Etsy um, store, uh, YouTube channel, some sort of new venture that really has some promise to it, but you're in the thick of it right now and maybe you aren't seeing the direction anymore. So this is coming in to help give you direction as well, uh, to be your guide and guardian to protect what it is that you're building. In those moments where you, because what I see, that's such a weird, okay, spirit, I don't know. Um, being in the broom closet, what I think of is um, like elves, like house elves <laughs> coming out and assisting um, in your housework while you're asleep. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Uh, King of Cups here is the other one that came through. So this need to center, to get back to center, to not let the emotion the emotional experience right now disrupt what it is that you're doing. So your good stuff coming in first, you have eight of keys. This is eight of swords. Uh, very Gemini energy here. The encouragement with the eight of swords, the eight of keys is to not get stuck in your head. That's a dangerous place <laughs> to come out of dreamland here. Uh, being in the good stuff, I think that you are getting to a point, especially utilizing this glyph here. You are getting to a point of seeing the way through how to leave dreamland. Um, the eight of swords, eight of keys here is a feeling trapped, but realizing that we're not actually trapped if we look around a bit further. And this isn't like a physical looking obviously, but um, increasing our awareness or cognizance. So five of cups here comes in next. This is a focus on disappointment. We need to turn away from what it is that has been lost here because what has been lost, there's always a component of this too that we were ready to lose. Mm, interesting. It's something that we don't have a taste for anymore anyway. We're ready to move through this, but maybe physically we weren't. Um, so it's we need to move forward. And that's not including like there is a process with grief. We need to respect that if that's what's going on in mourning. Uh, and that's something that I'm definitely learning <laughs> myself. Um, definitely had a, it wasn't even a rude awakening, a big awakening here in my last counseling session over uh, the validation of my own process of, of emotions and what I go through. Maybe you're experiencing that too. Maybe there are only some emotions that you validate or allow for yourself as you're going through life and others that you don't. Uh, maybe that's your way through. Hmm? Okay, I like that. Um, I wanna ask how does Pisces recognize this path in the good stuff here through the Eight of Swords? Nine of Wands and Temperance. I do feel patience, um, 
Connecting to the past, Six of Cups here. So Nine of Wands, this is the Wounded Warrior. The encouragement is to keep going. I feel like you are in the thick of something right now. And you just hit a patch where... Um, how do I explain that, Spirit? That is an interesting visual. What I'm seeing is like... Like a thicket in the center of this dense forest. And this thicket does not allow light in. So like light is able to reflect in this forest around you. And as you're in the forest, you can see thanks to the light coming through. But as soon as you hit this cent central thicket where you need to pass through to get through to the other side, like it's not even that light's gone. It's just the perception of vision is gone. It is, this is a real, <laughs> real interesting visual spirit. Um, you need to trust yourself to keep moving forward, keep putting one foot in front of the other here. The plan that you did make with the Knight of Pentacles there, follow your plan. This is the part in the road where you're being tested, so to speak. Are you going to stick to your plan? How bad do you want this to go wherever it is that you are going? I do feel like that the Sentinel, though, is here to help you with that. So in Temperance as well, this is going with the flow. I just feel reminded the flow that you initiated, okay? So the um, what you don't see coming here, you may not see in the shadow, underlying message of all this, you have four of keys. So this is four of swords. There is, um, there is a rest recharge that's involved with this. this. There's also a component of a gift that comes to mind on this, and that is very much uh, with the six of cups here too. There's a gift that's involved with this. I feel like this guide, the sentinel here, is, a, is coming as a gift for you guys to help you see it through, whatever that is. Okay. This is an opportunity to heal, heal the cavernous expanse of your heart. Okay. That's a lot of, that's a lot to heal. <laughs> that's a whole hell of an axolotl. <laughs> okay. Um, King of Pentacles comes in here next. So you had Queen of Pentacles here on <clears throat> your fear side, your anxiety, being in the same deck. I find this interesting. What you don't see coming is this like getting to this point of abundance or wealth, that queen of pentacles being in your fear of aversion, it's that component of fertility of like, of um, what is that? So when a human uh, egg cell and sperm cell come together, there is first that process of meiosis it goes through one division. And then from there on it's mitosis, right? Um, where the cells divide and create a whole, whole ass human being. I feel like that's where, this fear is, is like, okay, interesting. In getting pregnant, like you may realize that you take a pregnancy test, male, female, it does, this doesn't matter, but there's a point where there's a recognition that you are pregnant. Like you, you were fertile and you've become pregnant with an idea, with whatever, maybe you were physically pregnant here too. But, um, that point from there to maybe when you start showing, you start feeling a heartbeat or something like that. There is kind of a darkness where you're just not really sure. I'm sure, and I've never been pregnant personally, but um, uh, I have created, you know, birth ideas and things too. There is a period of time where there's just a big freaking question mark. What is the sex of the baby? Like what's going on? You know, all of these questions. And I feel like um, what's coming through with the guide and you're being guided to where there is, more discernible knowledge over what's going on but you have to have faith in that period of time that thicket where there is no light <laughs> that you are still heading in this in the right direction and coming out on the other side of this you're finding your abundance you're finding the king of pentacles energy here that's providing what it is that you started this for i love that so let's move on to your challenge the chariot. <laughs> yes. This movement, the movement, the inertia, the momentum. What I'm hearing is um, an accelerative force. So it's this like, I'm getting like breaking. So like you hit a fog or something <laughs> as you're driving 
and there may be a proclivity to slam on the brakes or to hit to pump the brakes and and go at the same time you're not really sure which way to go but in braking because there is this fear you are ruining ruining you are stopping the momentum the accelerative quality to the movement that you've got going on here so the challenge here is continuing in the direction that you are heading and trusting that that's correct for you. It's heading towards your highest good. <laughs> Did I just stutter? My goodness. Um, the chariot comes in here to clarify. <laughs> Thanks, spirit. <clears throat> so exactly what I just said there. The challenge here is having faith the rider here on the chariot needs to have faith that they are being led in the right direction. They need to have courage. They need to take will their willpower here to maintain the direction of the light and dark within themselves so that they continue to head in the direction that they want to head. How does Pisces work with this challenge here? Please, Spirit. Seven of Swords. Um, so taking just what is needed here is what is coming through on this. There is a regret, okay? You don't want to regret this if in stopping, okay, and in, in pressing the brake. Like we need to take breaks sometimes and we need to slow down. But this is something that um, you don't need to you don't need to be afraid of the accelerative force in the swing right now. It may catch butterflies in your tummy, but that's a good thing. So I'm hearing. Um, to not betray the self, don't steal from your own momentum here is what I'm getting, okay? Inter this is an interesting message, you guys. <laughs> Happy to be back. So, Spirit, uh, can we get three main pieces of advice for Pisces? Retreat. Time spent alone reflection on past and current situations. So that is very much the hermit. I feel like um, <clears throat> with all of this lantern activity here, there is an encouragement to get back to this place, like I said, of remembering in, in remembering why you started something. What was your motivation? What was your dream? You will find what it is that you need to keep moving forward. What else do we have here for Pisces, please, spirit? I love the chariot came out there twice. <laughs> Evaluation, feed out what doesn't serve you, reevaluate the situation. This is a time of, I'm seeing like, um, as you have a plant growing, like um, a rose bush or something that needs to be pruned as it grows in order to give the plant the best chance of blooming as far as flowers go, to have the best utilization of uh, energy. We also had two others that fell out here. Deception, false in, false illusion, scarcity mentality, and falling into bad habits. Don't be your own worst enemy right now. There are always going to be thoughts of shadow. We are not our thoughts, though. So it's really important to recognize that <clears throat> and not allow it to overcome the choices that we've made to make changes. Expansion, pursue bigger and greater endeavors. This is a reminder to get back on track of what it is that you're wanting to do. Okay, so let's look at spirit animal oracle energy here. This is the wild unknown spirit animal oracle. <laughs> what do we have here for Pisces, please, spirit? And this is also, you guys, I do have a new schedule that I'm doing here. I decided to bump you and Scorpio up here this week because I did have to... Um, let go of that week where I took some time off, but ultimately you guys are going to be in, I'm going down the line of um, the Zodiac in order. So you were supposed to be next week, but um, I wanted to get a reading out for you guys. Okay. So this next round, you will be, it will be bumped out by, you know, a week and a half or two and a half weeks. Stay tuned. Okay. Thank you for your patience. So uh, the fox does stand out here to me being on the bottom. This idea of not like you aren't going to do well or somebody else may not do well having something slip away from them. Could be a person, could be this idea that you're working working on right now. The whale is what came through here though for you. 
So this is about diving deep. There is um, there is a reminder in this process, like being in the thicket, where there is the thicket of shadow. <laughs> um, you need to come up for air too. And coming up from coming up for air is not the same as pumping the brakes. It is a process of that forward movement, okay? In whatever this is that you're working on. All right, let's look at archetypal energy for you. 2525 on the timer. What do we have for Pisces, please, Spirit? My Piscean friends. My family. <laughs> I do have Pisces North Node, so it's, it's where I'm heading these days. <laughs> Ooh, the riddle. Let's see. Who, what, where, when, why, and how? And sometimes why. <laughs> the riddle. The puzzle, the question, the mystery. When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found, and ultimately it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical, from logic to mythic. You are thinking too small and literally about the situation. The, the riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom in a Zen koan. Focusing harder won't do it. Neither will increased effort. Time, surrender, and humor are your only allies. Surrendering to the momentum of, of what you've decided to put into play. Uh, what feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. Eventually, you'll learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may, in fact, be the only reality there is. So when in light, a great awakening or aha moment. When dark, manipulation, deceit, or trickery. So I feel like um, you guys have had the whale come through to more than once but um <clears throat> i like this picture too i feel like the cent center part here with the eye is very much that thicket of shadow that you may be going through and the question that may be going through your mind is why in the hell did i get myself in this place in the first place keep going i feel like the truth everything will become clear very soon okay I love you, Pisces. Thank you guys for being here with me. So I'm going to move into the extended portion of the reading. If you'd like to join me, there are links in the description to purchase that a la carte, or if you want to join the membership to have access to all of those, that is available. Again, I do offer personal readings that is available there. My Cash App and PayPal links are in the description as well. If you do feel called to donate, thank you guys so, so much to those who have. It's truly so helpful here um, in growing and working this channel. So I truly appreciate it. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notifications when I do have new readings coming out. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, Pisces, and I'll see you all very soon. Okay. Bye.